So what are your parameters for happiness? Because someone might be able to pick up on skip drop and power. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Sorry about that, Lee. But what are your parameters for happiness? I think it'd be quite nice if, if I don't, you don't have to reveal everything, but like, it'd be nice to get some, you know, because some people might resonate with what your story is. And so for me, it's obviously, oh, sorry about this. It's, it's purpose, right? It's <laughs> purpose, well away from the talk. microphone there, Jose. Sorry, I, I, so I'll repeat that. My, my thing is purpose, uh, like you say, knowing who you are, um, really important. But what would you say would, for you would be the parameters of happiness for you? If I you just think if you, would, if you were to bullet point some key things about my life right now and give them to 18-year-old me, it would be like, not just, oh, that's good. Because you can say, oh, you'd have this or do this or be here. And you're like, oh, that's really good. But they're not good. They're like... If I, could, if I was to write down everything I'd want and then I get that list of how everything is now and compare them by side, side by side, they would be very comparable to one another. I'm trying to think of the best way to articulate it without divulging some personal specifics. But like from a, from a work point of view, I think my job is like my ideal job right now in every way, shape or form. Not what it is, what I get to achieve, how much time I spend doing it. Just all of that is perfect. Things grown up, simple things, but things even like home ownership seemed unattainable to me when I was growing up and I'm there and I always had this thing, someone would be like, oh, if you if you were successful, you know, what car would you drive? That's probably not a thing to younger generations now, but it certainly was when we were younger. And I always said I'd want to be understated, so I wouldn't be a BMW or a Mercedes or an Audi guy, but I'd want something that's understated success. And I think that's, for example, that's what my car is now. And I didn't, it wasn't like I drove everything to I want to have this car. It almost came as a byproduct on focusing on the other things. So the material stuff around it is almost like a byproduct of that. And like my backlog, you know, I think I love little projects and trying little things. And I've carved out time to be able to do those things and try different things and experiment. As we talked about here, should be available, I would say, before the end of this year, but I'm writing a book at the moment. That was always on my achievement list. And I've managed to make time to do that for me alongside my job and things I want to achieve doing in the house, etc., etc., etc. And I just, it's, I'm focusing my time on, on the things that make me happy. (laughs) 